हेलो मैं सिर्फ डॉक्टर निधि अजय मानधना सेकेंड ईयर जूनियर रेसिडेंट एट डॉक्टर लाल पटेल मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल जलगांव टुडे माय टॉपिक फॉर पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इज टू स्टडी रोल ऑफ मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेंस इमेजिंग इन नी इंजरीज इंट्रोडक्शन द नी जॉइंट इज मेजर वेट बियरिंग एंड लार्जेस्ट जॉइंट दैट प्रोवाइड्स मोबिलिटी एंड स्टेबिलिटी ड्यूरिंग वेट बियरिंग एंड फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज due to wide range of its function exposed to various forces beyond its physiological range and therefore bone and soft tissue of knee joint are at risk of injuries accurate evaluation for knee joint injuries is very crucial for proper management and outcome aim and objectives to study mri findings in knee injury to correlate with clinical findings and other radiological investigations and arthroscopic findings whenever perform materials and method The study was conducted in Department of Radio Diagnosis of Dr. Ulas Patil Medical College and Hospital Jalgaon Maharashtra. The study was done in 100 patient presenting referred for knee injuries to patient of uh, Department of Radio Diagnosis for MRI imaging. MRI scans were carried out on 1.5 Tesla Siemens MRI machine. The following MRI protocol sequence obtained was T1 and T2 weighted sequence in sagittal plane proton density weighted sequence in axial coronal sagittal plane and fat suppressed T2 or stir sequence whenever indicated patient were examined in supine position with knee extension and slight external rotation 10 to 15 degree in an extremity coil for optimization of signal to the noise ratio inclusion criteria patient who gave informed consent to be the part of the study patient with the history of trauma to the knee exclusion criteria patient who refused to participate in the study children below 18 years patient with contraindications to mri imaging like patient with cardiac pacemaker ferromagnetic implants these are t1 t2 weighted images in sagittal plane showing partial tears in acl anterior cruciate ligament with grade 3 tears in both horns and body of the medial meniscus these are t1 and stir images in coronal plane showing horizontal tears in posterior horns of both menisci observation distribution of the patient according to the knee pathology pathologies are like anterior cruciate ligament injuries posterior cruciate ligament injuries meniscal injuries collateral ligament injuries bony injuries joint effusion so the acl tear was noted in 21 patient pcl tear in 5 patients meniscus tear in 30 patients collateral ligament tear in 7 patient bone injury in 25 patient and joint effusion was noted in 40 patients mri analysis of the meniscal injury so according to this pie chart the medial meniscal injuries were more than lateral and then both menisci were included distribution of the meniscal tear on the part of the menisci so the posterior part of the menisci was most commonly involved in the anterior and then body discussion tear was the commonest pathology affecting the acl most being acute in nature the incidence of the pcl pathology in a study was 10% which is comparable to the 5.78% incidence reported by the singh jp et al Partial PCL tear was the commonest PCL pathology in our study, which was in accordance with the reported literature. One third of our patient had bone contusion, with, which compares well with the existing literature. Tibia was more commonly involved than femur by contusion, and lateral femoral condyle was involved more frequently than its medial counterpart. Our results are in agreement with the existing literature. acute acl tear were usually associated with bone contusion in a study similar association what is reported in previous studies as well grade 2 was the commonest meniscal tear in our study which contrasts with the results of argugam et al who reported grade 3 as the commonest grade of meniscal tear vertical tear were found to be the commonest type of the meniscal tear this contrasts with the previous finding of horizontal tear being the commonest meniscal tear by the pasupatuli b et al by all the vertical tears in our study were associated with a history of trauma reported literature also described vertical tear as being traumatic in nature only one patient in our study had a bucket handle tear involving the medial menisci literature also reports the most of the bucket handle tear involved the medial meniscus conclusion MRI evaluation in the patient with painful knee is of important as MRI can demonstrate the exact nature and extent of the body as 
well as soft tissue abnormality. It can potentially replace other imaging modalities like X-ray and CT scan for the radiological evaluation of a painful knee and is helpful in clinical decision making. Multiplanar imaging capacity and non-invasive nature of MRI enable a satisfactory diagnosis in such patient in whom a complete clinical examination is almost impossible due to pain. These are my references. Thank you.